Hello, I'm Dan Turner, and I'm a 59-year-old South Florida native and South Florida resident. And since the age of 18 to now, I've been a lifelong Republican. And whether you're Republican or you're a Democrat or an Independent, we've all had a very common experience this year in the year 2020. That common experience has been the health pandemic known as COVID-19. And for many of us, it's affected us in profound ways. Some of us, some of you have lost ones that you love. Some of us like me have known several who've become infected but have survived. But none of us thought that at this time and this stage and at this point in history with everything that we have for technological advances in medicine, in communications, in every area of our lives, we never thought that this would be something that would not only be carried with us this far into the year, but will be carrying down the road for possibly even years to come. I believe, even though that we're still very susceptible to this virus and, and to contracting it and suffering its consequences, I believe that we still need a clear and effective strategy to find our way out of this. And I believe that the only person right now that's before us, that's able to formulate the plan, execute the plan, has the temperament, the resolve, the motivation, and the ability to get us through this. That man's name is Joe Biden. And this is one of the biggest reasons that, especially even in the last couple of days, when we've heard news that has shocked the world, that our president has in fact himself contracted the virus, I think it would be horrible to see him desperately ill or to succumb to it. I think that there's a lot of people out there that are ambivalent towards him on that matter. But I think the decency that we all need to embody and embrace is that much like what Mr. Biden said today. He's praying for our president, for his family. And so I ask you all do the same. We don't need to be more divisive or more angry or more hurt or more hurtful than we already have been. We need to come together. We need to come together with a common vote and a common voice that says Joe Biden is the man that we believe will lead us best out of this situation and towards a return of whatever we might consider would be a normal lifestyle and a normal day in our lives without COVID-19 being predominant in every news cycle, without it being predominant in the minds of, of our young and our old and, and our leaders and their constituents. It's something that's affecting and, and inhibiting all of our lives. And again, whether you're a Democrat, a Republican like me, and independent, whether you're Jewish, whether you're Christian, whether you're Muslim, whether you're black, whether you're brown, whether you're white, now is a time for all of us to come to a common cause and a common goal and realize that the common element that we'll need in order to get back to that reality of living life in America as we know it, knew it, hope for it to be can still be achieved as long as we come together and voice our opinion that Mr. Joe Biden should be the next president of the United States of America. Thank you.